Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, markets are a little bit higher overnight. I think the big news was the President of the United States decided to uh, step back a little bit on uh, the stimulus package and offer some stimulus for the air airlines. I think that helped stocks and maybe helped grains. Um, we saw yesterday where the funds bought about 20,000 soybean contracts, 25,000 corn, 9,000 wheat, 10,000 meal. They're long about 277,000 contracts of uh, beans, 87 meal, 98 oil, 190 corn, and 52 wheat. And these big positions in the grains are because of dry weather across U.S. southern plains, Argentina, Brazil, and Russia, and also the Chinese uh, buying. And I think that the market, uh, as far as the algorithm machines are, concerned. I really want to keep this long position on until it rains in Brazil or until uh, they see the USDA report. Again, they feel that uh, U.S. supply is getting smaller and the demand is getting bigger and they're looking for lower carryouts on Friday to help push prices even higher. Now that we're on the 1050 area in November soybeans, the next objective is 1071. As far as the wheat market is concerned, again, we're, we're trading concerns about Russia crop conditions. Um, the Black Sea CME futures made a new all-time high uh, since the contract started in 2017. And we also noted that Australia continues to uh, trend higher, and it's at the level highest level since uh, May. So uh, down in South America, uh, Brazil is supposed to get some rains after October 11th. But the delayed plantings has helped uh, FOB values for beans in Brazil to uh, increase in the month of February, thinking that delayed plantings might shift some demand to the United States. Argentina farmers not selling, which might slow their crush rate of beans as they wait for rain and also the devaluation of their currency. So um, there was rumors floating around that China may have bought five to seven U.S. Jan soybean cargoes yesterday. Uh, despite being on um, holiday. They'll be back Friday and the market will have to see if they continue to buy U.S. beans or corn, what the government says in the USDA report, and watching weather um, in the Black Sea, in uh, U.S., in Brazil, and also uh, in Argentina. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day. And remember, always treat people like you yourself would like to be treated.